Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, beautiful uh, Monday afternoon, uh, a little bit after three o'clock. Uh, day 120 of the run streak done, uh, knocking out four miles. Uh, whew, uh, a lot on my mind, so bear with me. Uh, I am tired. Um, after the, the weekend that I had, uh, pacing at the Leadville, enjoying the ambiance and just enjoying my time. Uh, I didn't sleep much this weekend and um, it's taking its toll on me. Uh, but I knew I had to come out. I have a run streak. I have to get it. And then also on top of that, um, doing some new things with my running. Um, some, some new things that completely humble me um i was a lot of i was a, a marathon road runner for a long while and as i'm transitioning to ultras and not only the fact that i'm transitioning to ultras but dealing with small injuries and dealing with me getting older and my running style and my just the, my the way i train is much differently uh, i just found out that um I'll be able to run uh, the Leadville 100 next year. So it, it, I'm, it's a year of training for me. It's, that's really what it is. And this was literally like day one to start getting it right. Um, so I normally run either at the high school that I run at or Town Lake when I'm in Austin. Uh, but today I was so lazy i didn't even feel like driving to any of those places so i just said i'm just going to drive in my neighborhood i'm sorry i'm just going to run in my neighborhood and i normally generally don't like it um and this note for I, I i i like scenery i like these places that i go to and my neighborhood isn't particularly scenery um, um i actually live in a neighborhood uh, where they're homeless and there's a lot of homeless around. There's a lot of begging around. Um, <laughs> I was listening to a sermon from Charles Metcalf this morning on, on this afternoon on my run. And he was talking about inviting people to your table. <laughs> and sometimes we want to invite what we want to invite, but God sends all types of people in our lives and we're supposed to affect their lives and they're supposed to affect ours. At about mile two and a half, <laughs> I see my good buddy, John. And uh, John is homeless. And I've, he's actually, I've talked about him before. He actually makes these amazing crosses out of palm trees. And uh, I bought a few of them from him before. And we had this long conversation about his music. Uh, he's a producer. and. Uh, we talked about making music together. So I see him in the middle of the run, and I'm just excited, and he's excited. He was like, man, Ron, I got some new headphones, I got some new equipment. I'm ready to get this music done. He's like, man, hit me when you're ready. He said, it's just been a blessing. And I'm just sitting there listening to how he's smiling. Like, even through whatever conditions he has, and he's like, to get this stuff, I had to sacrifice. And I understood exactly what he meant. Then just as we're talking, another one of his friends, another gentleman that's homeless, Robert, stops right by, walks right by, and hands him a Gatorade. And then he, he tells me the story about how God is good. He had went into a store to, uh, to get some free ice, found $20. And he was just expressing how amazing God is. This, this is a homeless gentleman expressing how amazing God is. And then on top of it, he gave his tithe to John. He was like, here, brother, uh, I got to pay it forward. And he gave him $2. And I'm just sitting here and I did not want to go on this run today. I didn't want to be out here. It sucked. And then on top of that, I got to be humble, running as slow as I can, sometimes even having to walk to keep my heart rate low. And I just saw that and I was like, thank you, God, because I needed that. So always be blessed today and every day. Thanks for listening.